Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin. In this video, we are going to solve the problem insertion sort part one. So this is an insertion sorting problem. We will be covering half part of the insertion sort algorithm here. Let's see the question. Given a sorted list with an unsorted number E in the rightmost cell, can you write some simple code to insert E into the array so that it remains sorted? So the unsorted number will be at the end of the array. We need to insert that number into the array so that the array remains sorted. Assume you are given the array 1, 2, 4, 5, 3. 3 is the unsorted number. Index 0 to 4. Store the value of array of 4. Now test lower index values successively from 3 to 0 until you reach a value that is lower than array of 4. Array of 1 in this case that is each time your test fails, copy the value at the lower index to the current index and print your array. When the next lower index value is smaller than array of 4, insert the sorted value at the current index and print the entire array. The results of the operations on an example array is, this is the starting array, 1, 2, 4, 5, 3. Array of 4 is 3. We need to do the insertion operation here. So at each step, we will be copying the values from the previous index to the current index. So at the initial state, the array will look like this. So three is stored in a temporary variable. Now five is greater than three. So we will be copying five to the current index. So five is copied here. And in the next step, four is greater than three. So again, four is copied to the current index. And finally, two is not greater than three. So we will place three in this index because the condition fails. Like this only, the insertion sort works. So this is just half of the insertion sort. We will be completing the remaining in the next problem. And let's see the constraints. Here the number of elements can go up to 1000 and the array values can also go up to 10,000. So that is both in negative and positive. So the constraints are small. We don't need to worry about the constraints here. And I already explained with an example. So I don't need to explain it again. So for each operation, we need to print the array elements in new line. Okay, let's solve the problem now. We have the number of elements and the array elements. Let's say key equals array of minus one because the unsorted element is at the end of the array. Array of minus one will fetch the last element of the array. Now we need to create a index variable. So i equals n minus one. So it will be starting from here. That is the last index. While i greater than 0 and array of i minus 1 greater than key. So if the condition satisfies means we will be copying the element to the current index. That will be array of i equals array of i minus 1. So this statement will copy 8 to the current index. So the result will look like this. Now we need to print the array. So print asterisk of array. It will print the array with the space separated integers like this. Now we need to decrement the index. So that will be i minus equals 1. So these operations will continue until the while loop breaks. When the while loop breaks, we need to assign this key to the corresponding index. That will be array of i equals key. This will assign the key element to the corresponding index. Remember, we have assigned the key element at the start here. After that, we need to print the final result. That will be print of asterisk array. This will print the final result. That concludes our whole logic of our problem. So we are assigning the unsorted array element to the key value and initializing the index i equals n minus 1. That is the last index. From the last index, we are traversing in decreasing order while i greater than 0 and array of i minus 1 greater than key means that is the previous element is greater than the key means the condition satisfies. So we will be copying the previous element to the current index like this in this statement. And after copying, we will be printing the whole array and decrementing the index by one. 
If the condition fails means we will be assigning the key element to the corresponding index. After that, we will be printing the final index. So if you have any other logic other than this means, please leave a comment below. It will be very useful for everyone. Let's run the code now. It passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Yeah, we solved the problem. If this video is helpful to you, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for future videos. Stay tuned for the next video.